Today is a special day, my RC friend, because today I have the honor to present you this really cool RC excavator. So without any further ado, let's start. To the rhythm. So what you see here is, and I'm really proud of, that I can show it to you. Um, it is a Liebherr 926 compact. It is one of the coolest machines on the market at the moment, if you ask me. And in this video, I would like to show you why I think that this machine is really a cool one. First of all, it is a small one. It is one of the smallest excavators you can get on the market. And uh, I will take the ruler in a few minutes and check the measurements. But it is a small one, but there is no disadvantage. Uh, it could, you, go, you can say that there is, this is an, 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 a big advantage because this thing is so cool. First of all, you can travel with it very easily. And the cool thing is that all the, the high standards um, the really high standards of building the machine are included in this small one. So you have everything you, you, you usually are getting from the big machine. So there is the quick coupler, there are the, the several valves that you can need for several functions. Um, you have light, you have sound, you have a really powerful uh, driving unit. There are also fall, fall harbor motors built in there. You have the really cool marking cups of hydraulic pump in there, the cool cylinders and this is this machine has really a high a high standard, a high level of detail. What you see here is this really looks pretty awesome. What do you think? By the way, it is not a cheap one for sure. It's made in Germany, but you really get a lot for your money. And the cool thing is that um, I, already, I already played with it um, at the construction site. You have so much fun to play with. Because to, due to the fact that it is so, so small, you can get everywhere. It is very heavy. It weighs, uh, I must check on the web page, I think more than 15 kilogram. So it's really a heavy weight. It has this cool dozer blade at one side, so you can use it as the real one, as the dozer. And don't miss it, it has an adjustable boom. And so far you can, you can just you have a huge range um, where you can use it. And by the way, if you ask me, it really looks just awesome. And the cool thing about the compact is that it is the, the, it is so so short. You can turn around without uh, without the need of having a lot of space when you compare it to a usual to a normal excavator. Um, without further ado, let's let's start the engine of this little monster. So uh, what I use here is um, by the way is one of the finest RC radios you can get. It is a Okay, I hope you can see it. It is a Brixel control. It is uh, built in Germany. It is a well-known manufacturer and they really do high-end stuff. And this um, radio allows you to program all the functions the way you need to program them because it is always important that when you just spend a lot of money for such, a, such an uh, RC machine, you need a really good radio so that you can program the machine as it should be programmed that everything is going smooth and can be controlled very very well so um, the on off uh, power switch uh, is right here under this hood so just let just let us turn it on this machine and um, by the way um, there is a battery in there it is a uh, lithium ionen battery. I don't know if the pronunciation is well done in English right now. It's a lithium, lithium ion uh, battery with a capacity of 7000 milliampere hours. So this is really a huge thing and I guess you can play with it by far longer than an hour, by far. So um, now you have 
to connect the radio with the uh, RC excavator and uh, you just push this button right here so this is by the way this is now oh, let me get you a bit closer so this is the German menu it says model um, to, to, um, to um, switch to, to the model you, you currently want to use and then you just go through it and there's the 926 push the button and now the model is connected So, um, let's turn on the pump. Therefore, we just turn a little bit the switch with the P on it. By the way, you can, you can uh, tell the radio every function, you can do it just the way you want it. This is really uh, very free and this is really cool. So let's turn the pump. Now, now the pump is on, listen. It's a Martin Kamsoft pump, one of the best in the market. And now let's just move the boom. And this is always the same, what I'm telling you. Just look at the stick. And listen to the pump. So this is how it should work. See this? This is what I mean a very good controllable RC excavator. This is really cool. So let's move on. And always just check out how smooth the movements are when you do this, when you're doing this, right? And listen to the pump. Is it loud or is this okay? And for those who are asking, uh, for sure videos will follow where using this excavator in the dirt so that you can see how realistic it looks when playing with it in the dirt. So, really cool. Um, by the way, the driving unit is powered by foul harbor motors so just look and they are really powerful and what you see here is you can control them really smooth And this is also important in playing on the construction side. So, another thing that is really awesome um, concerning this RC excavator is see how it turns. First of all, listen to the sound coming from the motor and from the gear. This is a cool sound, there's, there's no noise. And the coolest thing is, I show you now, now. I'm pushing against the bucket, okay? Can you see this? This, my friends, I hope that the camera is sharp. This, my friends, is the best I've ever seen. Can you see this? There is no play anywhere. This, what I'm pushing against the bucket, is just the boom is just moving a bit because it's a boom. This is absolutely typical and normal. But there is no play in the gear. So what do you think? You can control this thing absolutely. There is no play at all. So when you're loading dump trucks, have no problem at all just practice it and the machine and the radio will stand for a really cool controllable RC excavator so this is amazing
See this? This is this is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Do this with your FC excavator. And tell me in the comments if you have play in the gear or if there's no play. I assume that there is play. Because I've, I've never seen a RC excavator having no play like this machine. The 956 from the manufacturer was a really or is a really good machine, but this I think has been improved. So this is really cool. So what else do we need to have a closer look at? The cool thing is, let's let's just keep to the shovel, to the bucket right here. What you see here is a leaco fix system. This means that when you're connecting a bucket with hoses, with uh, hydraulic hoses, there is no need to plug in the hoses anymore because this is done automatically right there. I will show you later. The other thing is, the cool thing I will show you immediately is you can just um, uh, switch to another bucket very easily, but come closer and show it to you. So now it's time to change the bucket, very easy. Um, let's put it there. So by the way, this, this is just for the legal fix system when it is a, a bucket, by the way, sorry, really nice looking bucket high level of detail, right? This is amazing, really cool. And this is the, the, the legal fix counterpart if this, you are using a bucket which does not use any hydraulic hoses, then it just uh, closes the legal fix system. So let's put it uh, right here. Okay, and now we just use the quick coupler. So what I now actually did is, I hope you see it in the camera, I opened, I opened this, um, this quick coupler, now it's open, now it's closed. This is done hydraulic, by uh, hydraulic valve. So now let's try to get this bucket where it should be, at the boom. And what you see here is, now you just have to Okay, it's not in there already. It's not, not the way it should be. It is, I think it has never been, it, what you see here is, can you see it? It's the first time that this bucket is, um, is um, uh, fixed to the excavator because the paint is, is, is so fresh that it's, it's still hanging here. And I guess when you, okay, I have to put this in now. It's the first time, close it, and that's it. So really easy, let's do it again. So put the bucket right here. And uh, when you just see me doing this, you see how important it is and see how controllable this boom is that you can do it right the way I'm doing it. This is so important. And see how you can turn the machine. Can you see it? By the way, this is a 4K video. So you can really look at uh, on your flat screen or on your Beamer or wherever. It's a 4K with a high resolution. So um, it's no need to watch the video only on your uh, mobile phone. So now let's try to get it in. And can you see this? And it has been fixed. And this, my friends, is really cool. I have not practiced it. You can do it also the same way because this machine is so well built. So, and uh, what else can I show you then? What you see is, uh, by the way, I have to, to get the ruler. So um, it is, the width is around uh, 22 centimeters. 22 and the undercarriage including the tracks let's say from here to there it is 39 centimeters 39 and the height is around 36 and the overall length with the bucket and the blade 
is 62 centimeters. So this is really a compact excavator. What else can I show you? The cool thing is that, um, yeah, let's move forward. Um, what you see is that the boom, see how straight the boom can be made. This is something very typical and you must be careful with your, with your bucket. See this, <laughs> this is amazing. This is an adjustable boom and this is the adjustable boom of a compact excavator. And so you can really understand that you can dig with it very close to the excavator and there's no space needed. When you have a, to make a hole right here uh, in, a, in a narrow street, you can do it with this machine. And when you turn it, you see that there's no additional space needed. Let me show it to you a better way. So, what I mean is that there's no space needed. This is so cool. Uh, by the way, we also have lines. Right there at the boom and right there is a light, like the real machine. And this is really cool. This it's a typical compact excavator thing. You also can open the, the cabin door and there's this really cool blade. If you can use, um, you can use it just dozing the ground and for sure you can also operate the bucket into this direction and when you are doing so you have not the problem that usually an excavator has that it is um, just getting the dirt close to the machine because it will be stopped right at the blade. So the blade for sure it is hydraulic with two hydraulic um, cylinders and what else can I show you? The cool boom. Uh, let's do it. You see how close this comes. See? See this. Is this amazing? This is so compact. <laughs> this is really cool. And the cool thing is, sorry for repeating it, it is so heavy. So it is not a toy, it is a real cool working machine. And the last thing I want to show you, and this is almost the coolest thing in the end, is this LecoFix system that I told you before. So therefore I'm getting another shovel, another bucket, and then we will just uh, change the bucket with the LecoFix system. So here we are again. So this is a, this is a LecoFix bucket. This is the counterpart of the LecoFix system. Um, and these two connectors will be connected with the machine. And then uh, you have the hydraulic functions of this bucket. Uh, it's a leaper bucket. Look, there's really nice details right here. It says leap hair, even there and there. By the way, these things are really cool, these plastic things right here, because no dirt is, is getting in, into it. So you have not to be that careful when using it. So just like the real thing, let's put the bucket right there and let's try to get it um, fixed to the machine. Do you, have, do you have a good view? Um, I hope that you can see it very well. Let's place it right there. Okay. And always remember what I said to how you control the excavator. This is amazing. See how it turns. And my friends,
That's it. That's it. See? <laughs> it has been fixed. And you did not need any manual hand to do this. It has just been made by using this really cool mechanism. And the last thing I almost forgot, I just remember, and nobody told me, I just almost forgot, is there is a sound module, module included. So my RC friend, I hope that you really like this video and if you liked it, please let me know by giving a comment and uh, put a thumb up. Um, this machine is really awesome. I hope that you got a good impression of it. It is really awesome and uh, I was really happy to share this uh, with you. So I hope that you are do, all are doing well. Stay safe and uh, hope to see you soon. Bye bye.